Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. We're sure no one would wish to see a megalodon shark reappearing from prehistoric times, prowling the oceans, crushing down the bones of its kill, and chewing up all the flesh right off its body. Sounds scary enough to give you goosebumps, right? But as it turns out, there are plenty of other sea monsters pervaded with bleeding gums and sharp teeth that could terrify you even more. In today's video, we're going to tell you about 10 sea monsters that will take all your courage to stare directly at them. Number 10. Helicoprian Shark Imagine a giant prehistoric monster shark with enormous size mouth fitted with, with a circular blade. It might not sound like a real animal, but this terrifying creature once existed an apparent 270 million years ago. Helicoprion is the name given to an extinct species of shark having petrified whirls of elongated teeth that appear like a wood-cutting buzzsaw. The most famous fossil finds of Helicoprion were the teeth of this strange shark, which are the fossilized in a spiral-like pattern measuring around 18 to 24 inches. These arrangements of fossil teeth are today referred to as a tooth whirl. For several decades, paleoichthyologists had no clear idea about the exact positioning of these spiral-like clusters of teeth. Several sketches of this shark-like animal were created over the years, some even showing the teeth on its tail and head. Eventually, scientists decided that it should be positioned in the mouth like a buzzsaw. Studies also suggest the shark could be as long as 40 feet, with jaws extended past 50 centimeters long. Thank goodness this beast is extinct. Number 9. Leviathan Melville Leviathan Melville, named after the biblical sea monster and the author of Moby Dick, was a giant sperm whale that has just been discovered by Belgian scientist Olivier Lambert. It's thought to have lived 12 to 13 million years ago. Leviathan Melville's body size was estimated around 44 to 57 feet long, about the same as a modern adult male sperm whale. The skull of Leviathan Melville is 3 meters long and it's one of the largest raptorial predators yet known, with whale experts using the phrase, the biggest tetrapod bite ever found, to explain their find. Unlike the modern sperm whale, L. Melville had functional teeth in both its jaws. The jaws were robust and its temporal fossa were also considerably larger than the modern age sperm whale. The teeth of this giant monster measure up to 36 centimeters long and are claimed to be the largest among any animal found on planet Earth. Fossil remains of baleen, whales, dolphins, sharks, seals, and seabirds have also been found at the same site where the remains of El Melville excavated, suggesting it may have been a top predator of its time. Number 8. Bigfin Squid Need something new to be afraid of? A specimen from the Smithsonian Squid Collection and videos of a mystery squid help scientists identify a new family of deep-sea squid, the Magna Pinidae, also known as the Bigfin Squids. The first visual record of the long-armed squid was recorded in 1988, but recently a Shell Oil Company remotely operated vehicle captured a shot of bigfin squid at a depth of 2,294 meters during routine inspection of exploratory wells. Viewing close-ups of the body and head, it's apparent that the squid is approximately 26 feet long, with its elastic tentacles estimated to be up to 15 to 20 times the mantle length. To all other monstrous squids out there in the ocean, you are tiny. Little is known about the feeding behavior of these squids. Scientists have speculated the big fin squid feed by grabbing edible organisms through dragging their terrifyingly long arms and tentacles along the seabed. Number 7. Leo Pluridon Thanks to its cameo appearances on the TV show Walking with Dinosaurs and the YouTube favorite Charlie the Unicorn, unfortunately producers depicted Leo Pluridon with a grossly exaggerated length of 80 feet, while a more accurate estimate is 30 feet. Leo Pluridon, which translates from the Greek as smooth-sided teeth, was named on the basis of very scanty fossil evidence, exactly three teeth, each of them almost three inches long, excavated from a town in France in 1873. How did the remains of Leo Pluridon wash up in France, of all places? Well, during the late Jurassic period, supposedly 160 to 150 million years ago, much of present-day Western Europe was covered by a shallow body of water. This gigantic marine reptile of the Mesozoic era had strong paddle-like limbs, suggesting that Leo Pluridon was a powerful swimmer. These marine reptiles had short necks, smooth teeth, and could weigh up to 10 tons. Leo Pluridon was a hunter. Its long jaws and rows of needle-sharp teeth would have made marine crocodiles, the giant fish Leedsichthus, Ichthyosaurus, and even other pliosaurs vulnerable to attack. 
Their forward-facing nostrils make scientists believe they also had an incredible sense of smell, which was used to track down its prey even from significant distances. Number 6. Fangtooth Fish Looking at a fangtooth fish is enough for you to understand why this has made it to our list of creatures scarier than a megalodon. It has mouths that are full of long pointed teeth and adding more to our fear, it's not extinct like the megalodon. Common fangtooths are deep sea predators that have recorded at depths of well over 16,000 feet. They're dark coloured and rely heavily on their sense of smell to catch prey. Although they spend most of their time in the deep, they're known to migrate toward the surface at night, following their preferred prey of crustaceans and some other fish. As they live in an extreme environment where scientists have difficulty studying behavior, one thing is for sure about these species is that they seem to have a bit of a bite-first, ask-questions-later attitude. Though they look menacing and are voracious predators, common fangtooths are harmless to humans. They only grow to about 7 inches and are known to be robust when compared to many other deep-sea fish. They've been kept alive for months in aquariums despite conditions that are significantly different from their usual deep-sea habitat. Number 5. Bobbit Worm There aren't any mummies or zombies buried under the sea floor. Instead, the ocean has its own terror from below, the Bobbit Worm. This weird-looking creature is considered as the ocean's most disturbing predator, which hunts in pretty much the most nightmarish way imaginable digging itself into the sea floor, exposing a few inches of its body, which can grow up to 10 feet long. With just its five antenna poking out, it senses prey above, snapping down on it with its supremely muscled mouthparts, called a pharynx. It does this with such speed and strength that it can split a fish in two, and that, quite frankly, would be a merciful exit. With its sharp teeth, it also injects a toxin to help break down its food and make it easier to digest. They're often found prowling among coral reefs of Indonesian and European waters. Due to their ability to blend in, they're sometimes called the Sand Striker. The more you learn about them, the more terrified you'll become. We recommend not getting too close to the Bobbit Worm, or you might regret it. Number 4. Arthropleura Number 4 on our list is a giant genus of extinct millipede arthropods that lived in what is now northeastern North America and Scotland stated 345 to 295 million years ago. They're known as the largest land-dwelling bug of all time. Estimates from fossil segments of the species suggest that on average the Arthopleura could have grown one and a half feet wide and two meters in length, as large as a man or a crocodile. However, there are very rare colossal specimens that were discovered to have measured around six meters in length. The reason why they're able to grow so large is that oxygen levels were 50% higher than today. Arthropleura was heavily defended by thick, tough, and wide armor plating along its back. Underneath its armor were lots of small legs and a soft underbelly. On its head, it had two pincers and two antennae. Fortunately for us, if this millipede were around today, we'd be unlikely to be bothered by it, as they were herbivores, and scientists don't believe they have powerful mouthparts for chewing meat. Still, that doesn't mean that they weren't terrifying to stare at. Imagine a giant millipede crawling up your feet. Wouldn't be amusing, right? Number 3. Chronosaurus Chronosaurus is the name given to Queensland's largest fossil predator. The name Chronosaurus honors the Greek mythological figure Chronos, who ate his own children in an attempt to preserve his powers. Originally discovered near Huendin in the 1920s, Chronosaurus was one of the largest of the short-necked plesiosauruses known as pliosaurs, a fearsome family of marine reptiles characterized by their massive heads, short necks, and relatively broad flippers. Chronosaurus had a huge crocodilian jaw, a thick body lined with four powerful flippers, and a short tail. It's thought to have been more than 30 feet long, 10 feet longer than a great white shark. What did it eat? A lot. Chronosaurus fossils have been found with their stomachs full. The big teeth of the Chronosaurus enabled it to eat just about anything smaller than it, including giant sea turtles and other pliosaurs of its own kind. Now, you should guess why it was named Kronos, right? No doubt that if it were around today, we would be on the menu as well. Number 2. Frilled Shark We all know the ocean is a terrifying place, harboring ink-black predators with razor-sharp fangs, grotesque alien life forms, and at least one submarine-hating squid. But the number 2 on our list is this freaky shark which really takes the cake. Frilled sharks have been swimming the depths of the ocean since the time of the dinosaurs and are often called living fossils because in the claimed 80 million years they've lived on Earth, the fish have changed very little. Its common name comes from the frilly or fringed appearance of its six pairs of gill slits with the first pair meeting across the throat. 
They have a long, slender body that can reach a length of two meters with an elongated tail fin, giving them an eel-like appearance with a head that's reminiscent of a snake. Its terrifying mouth is lined with 25 rows of backward-facing trident-shaped teeth, 300 in all. And as if its teeth weren't freaky enough, the frilled shark also has spines called dermal denticles lining its mouth. So if you happen to see one of these anywhere, it's better to look and not touch. Number 1. Titanoboa Snake This prehistoric snake of nightmares known as Titanoboa that lived in the swampy waters of what is now Colombia around an estimated 60 million years ago. Titanoboa was by far the biggest snake that's ever known to human beings. At nearly 50 feet long and weighing in at 2,500 pounds, it was 10 times as heavy as the average green anaconda. This silent hunter would strike in a flash and snap its victim's neck in one swift move. Titanoboa jaws could crush its prey with a constricting force of 400 pounds per square inch. That's the equivalent of lying under the weight of one and a half times the Brooklyn Bridge. It's also estimated that Titanoboa may have had more than 250 vertebrae. You can visit a giant replica of this extinct Titanoboa at Grand Central Station in New York, which is satisfying its big appetite by eating a whole crocodile in just one bite. We're going to leave you today with this thought. What would have happened if Titanoboa hadn't gone extinct? Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button, do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.